Hi, I'm Jim from Fluke. I'm a tech support engineer here at Fluke Corporation. And today we're going to talk about the 438-2 and understanding the difference between interval time, duration, and sample rate. This is what the instrument looks like when you turn it on in the setup screen. So we're going to look into a menu to look at those parameters. So we're going to push F4, manual setup, F3, function preference, and then it's going to have trend, and that's what we want to evaluate. So we're going to push the enter button, and then the enter button will talk about the duration and the average time. The instrument shows seven days as a default with a one minute average. A common thing that the customers do is that they'll set the interval time at a real small measurement, like one second, and then they'll want to record for 30 days, which the meter can do that, but the problem with it is that they're gathering a bunch of information that doesn't need to be recorded. So since we know the sample rate for RMS measurements is five readings per second, the meter would gather those measurements over a one minute period, which would be 300 measurements for each parameter. And it keeps of those 300 measurements, it keeps the highest one, the lowest one, and the average, and creates a graph. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Fluke Pro tips.